Hi, my name is Vlad, and today we're going to create something really cool in Cinema 4D. And uh, I will try to show you how to manage this metallic look effect. It's like a wave effect, so you can use it for your animations, like a sound effect or whatever. So that's the final look I achieved using Redshift to render. And here's the animation. Let's play it. So it looks not too bad. So let's try to achieve the same effect from scratch. So let's jump to Cinema 4D and create new product. So first of all, we need to create a disk object. So as you can see, we have not enough polygons. So let's make it look sharp and really nice. So we have enough polygons to start animating everything. The main effect today is a displacer. So let's put it here, just drag and drop inside your disk object. Let's apply to displacer the noise effect. So we have this kind of noise effect. All we need to do is to drive the global scale Let's play with this a little bit. Let's add more polygons to this, like this. Not too much. So now we have this wave effect, but it's too simple. Let's animate it using fall off objects. Great. Let's create new field. I will use Torres field. Real nice. Boom! Real nice animation. So right now we need to set up the animation, set the case for animation. So here's the radius. Let's play with this. And thickness. Let's see what we have right now. Oh, it's too fast. Let's slow it down a little bit. Play again. Oh, I like it more. Let's duplicate this Taurus field. And also we need to apply it here in this section, field. We need to separate those fields. So now we have one field and we have another one. So now we combined two Taurus fields, but let's create one of them be a little bit th thicker like this. Let's make the first one thicker and the second one is thinner. Oh, right now it looks more interesting. So now we need to make this disk editable. And let's try to bake this object as a lambic. Let's save to our documents, for example. Let's turn it off. Now we have the pre-baked animation inside Cinema 4D. So now let's apply the jiggle effector like this. I really like this jiggle effector because you can achieve really nice effects with all your animations, not only wave effects. So all we need to do is to play with this a parameter, strength parameter. Let's play it. So now we have like a drop effect in the start of our animation. So it's like jiggling. 
Cool. Really interesting. Let's pre-bake this object again. Bake as a Lambic. So let's call it not disk, maybe disk one, for example, and save it again as a Lambic file in your documents. It will take some time. Okay. So now we have the final one. Let's play the animation. Oh, looks cool. So if we put this object in subdivision surface, we'll achieve these wave effects. So now let's render everything using Redshift Render. Let's create a new material. Just drag and drop on your subdivision surface or disk. Let's choose like a copper effect. Let's run Redshift Render View. Press Start Render. Now we've just started rendering our image. Let's add some light effects. I really like dawn light. I've already created some HDRI files. You can use your own HDRI file. I will use mine. Wow. Looks cool. But what if we need to create like a bokeh effect? Let's run picture view. This depth fill effect. We need to create our camera. Let's jump into Redshift tags and we need to apply a Redshift camera tag on our camera. Let's tick those boxes. Bokeh. Derive focus distance, distance from camera. We don't need this, we can drive it ourselves. And let's play with power. Like this, an aspect ratio to create real nice bokeh effect. All we need to do is just to drive this parameter focus distance. Let's spin our camera, rotate a little bit. Let's go closer to the object. Looks cool. Let's go to Regan. Oh, sorry, that's not what we need. Let's protect the camera to not move it. So what? that's what we have right now. Let's jump to our Redshift material and apply some materials, textures, like a metal texture. We'll use our bump map, so it's really easy. Then we need to connect it with our bump input. Let's use our RS texture, we need to apply our metal texture. I will use mine. So now we have this metallic look like that. The bump is too strong. Like this. Let's check our animation how it looks. What I like in RSDRI Dome Light in Redshift is that how easy it is to drive the light. So all you only need to do is just to spin your RSDRI HDRI light and you can achieve different light effects. 
experience a little bit. Cool. Also, we can jump into Redship display. That's. I would really like this parameter to to create a realist realistic exposure effect. Also, we can add some vignette effect to make the edges be darker. We can also put some color gradient as well to make it look sexier especially in the shadows, to make the material, material be more contrast, because we use the metal effects. So now the image is ready to render. But what if we would like to create a more graph effect with the particles? Let's create a new disk. Turn, turn it off. We'll create a new disk, but we'll use less polygons on it. Let's see what we have. Like, not too much. So now we can drag and drop our displacer and also with torus, fi torus fields. Now we have this animation, which is quite cool. Let's also apply this jiggle effector. Cool. Let's create the cloner object using our cube. Cube is too huge. Let's put the cube inside the cloner object. We'll use the object mode. All we need to do is just to drag and drop our disk into the object section. Use Vertex option. So now our cubes are connected to the vertexes. Let's make the disk be not visible. Let's play the animation. So now we have a really cool particles effect. So now it looks more like the equalizer. Let's render this. We also can add more polygons to our disk to create more particles on it. So now instead of this metallic look, we will have a particle look. Let's run Redshift Render again. It will take some time. So now we have our particles. Let's drag and drop this golden effect on our cubes, our cloner. Now we have these particles effects. And we did it just using standard. Sima 4D tools, which is quite cool. And now you can use this animation for your project. Really simple. Thanks for watching. See you soon.